In the 14th century, the summer residence of Vitautas, the Grand Duke of the Grand Duchy of Lithuania, and his wife Juliana, was in Nimesis. In 1397, Vitautas settled the Tartars there, and about 120 of their descendants still live in this settlement. In 1684, the first mosque was built in Nimesis that survived till the beginning of the 20th century. It burned down in 1909. In the same year, it was restored based on the design of the architect Sonin. The mosque was built by the master Maceus Kanarskis, and the rebuilding works were sponsored and funded by an image starter Alexandros Ilyasevichus. In the Soviet era, until 1968, the mosque, like many other sacred buildings, was closed and turned into a grain warehouse. In the 1960s, the mosque nearly burned down again, but it was rescued by cutting down an openly blazing minaret. The shrine was restored to the Tatar community in 1978. It was renovated in 1993 and restored in 2009. The one-story wooden mosque is of a rectangular layout with an attic and covered with a four-sided sheet steel roof. A small hexagonal minaret turret rises above the main facade roof and it ends with an onion-shaped helm and a peak topped with a crescent moon and a star. The windows are rectangular with flat profiled edging. The main facade has a closed porch with a small triangular pediment covered with a small gable roof. The same facade above the windows is decorated with two decorative elements, the moons with pentagonal stars integrated into the circle. A four-wall annex, a mihrab, with a small window facing Mecca, is installed in the back wall. Inside, close to the mihrab niche, and to the right, is a minbar installed for preaching. The second floor has a balcony for guests. The men's and women's prayer rooms are separated. A smaller room is dedicated to women, and the men's room walls are decorated with posters with Arabic inscriptions and a rug with a woven image of the Mecca Mosque. <laughs>